Hey, are you Josh Salvador from uh from YouTube? Oh, oh yeah, bro. I guess that's yeah. I guess that's me. Hey, what's up, man? I watch all your videos, bro. But hey, I got like one question. Like, where did all the sneaker content happen? Like, you, you don't seem to be posting uh, any more sneaker content. It's just like what's the cinematics, like what the what they call vlogs. Like, I I sub I subscribe for the sneaker YouTube. I ain't getting none of that, bro. I ain't getting none of that. Oh uh, yeah, like I've just been focusing on other stuff like, you know, vlogging and like um, stuff with like cinematics and all that. And then like I just didn't really want to always do sneakers all the time because like I like more stuff than sneakers. What are, what are those, dude? Sneaker, sneakers, they ain't, they ain't no goddamn sneakers. They look like some stingy ass sock darts, you feel? Like, bro, what, ha hey, what happened to all your shoes, bro? You, 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 you like, like you sold them all? Damn, you fell off, G. You, you even like, do you even know what sneakers are anymore, man? But relax, like, I still like shoes. Like, I don't need to have like a million pairs of shoes to be like a sneaker, bro. Like, bro, you know, like, do you, like, do you still know Tinker Hatfield? Like, do you still know MJ? Are you still like rocking with Converse and like, you, like, you, you with the Chucks? Like, you still know what Yeezys are? Like, do you know, like, like, you know, there's like 700 V2s now, you know what I'm saying? Um, like shadow backboard 3.0s you know you know what those are like do, do you do you know the one the 2.0s like what color were in the 1.0s g bet, bet, bet you don't know that you, what are chicago's chicago ones g they're my grails what are your grails bruh probably not your royals because you sold them ah ha ha bro get your ass up bro you fake as moth <sighs> okay anyway it's no secret that i haven't been uploading sneaker content and I'd like to talk to you about it. So basically, I've been taking a break, not deliberately from sneakers. It's just that I've been wanting to do more stuff that involves things other than posting all about shoes because I do like other things than shoes. I, I like technology. Like I like technology. I like camera gear. I like, you know, I like playing music. I like, what else do I like? And I also like vlogging. So basically, don't kill me that I haven't been posting sneaker content because I'm still literally like a sneakerhead. Um, and I believe that the amount of time that one takes looking at sneakers for like how many hours on end, studying their patterns, studying the resale value, studying the literally. I broke down for school, I broke down the composition of Boost and how um, all of the pellets are chemically bonded together by steam. I can't not be a sneakerhead. So that's why I haven't been uploading sneaker content recently. Um, I sort of wanted to explore more about sneakers. I honestly wanted to explore more about creating content that I enjoy because honestly, what if, if my channel is driven by you, then literally why can't all of you just create your youtube channel and post your own stuff a lot of people um thank you thank you to all of you that's been telling me about this because i didn't know how much my videos had an in, had an impact on you guys because you were telling me about how you enjoyed how i showed my perspective about um why i love sneakers so much and i really appreciated that because and you guys explained how seeing my videos gave you more of an insight uh gave you guys more of an insight to how i see sneakers and about how i viewed and explained it and i did explain it funnily apparently with all my sneaker skits so i will be bringing back some sneaker content because i do believe that i have i've been um casting aside one of my favorite passions and I don't really want to do that anymore. So uh, maybe three videos a month I'll be on sneakers, and I hope that all you sneaker, uh, I hope that all you sneakerheads out there will be happy. And so without further ado, I'm gonna give you a couple sneakers, and I'm gonna be showing you why I can't really put together a fit without them, and why I just really need them in my collection. And no matter what, 
uh, no matter if even if it's out of fashion even if it's like worth $20 I will still keep it in my collection no matter what if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed sneaker content if you enjoyed skits leave some likes down below it really just helps the channel this sneaker to me is basically like my hype beast essential Asian high beast essential. Now, the th the reason why I like this sneaker so much is that basically you wear this, you pull it off with a bit, instantly rich clout high beast, and you're basically under the umbrella of a hype beast. What's resale going at right now? 700, 800, something like that. Probably used 500. This sneaker is just so versatile. And the thing is with this, I sold my cream uh, 350 V2s that I bought in early January when I had the Australian restock, sold it for about retail, so I made my money back $340. I used it to buy this used pair from my homie. I bought it for like maybe 350, 360, and that's probably one of the best decisions I made when it came to an expensive sneaker that I paid retail for. Because if you think about it, those cocaine white 350 V2 creams, how many times could I wear them and still keep them crispy white. How many times? I I struggled to wear to find one occasion that was worthy enough for me to take out and wear my crisp 350 V2s. Now I know that a lot of people they just you know say wear your kicks, but if I spent $340 on a pair of white sneakers, I, I wanna wear them. That's why this I've legit beat these to the ground and they still look decent. I, I throw them in, you know, crack them in like this, they, they're they still fine. Can you see any defects? And you probably in the soul, you don't want to look there. But yeah, coming in on that list is the Yeezy 350 V2, the Beluga color and the Beluga 2.0 colorway. I'm not like out of sneakers, that's just a really tough name, man. Let's get on with the next sneaker. Probably my favorite pair of sneakers that I just... I, I will ever own like literally you could give me a pair of Nike mags I will still choose to rock these that and the fact that I don't want to look like I just came back from like this like Apollo 70 or something like that the Air Jordan 1 Royal from 2017 these are just mm, I love the tumbled leather I, I just I love the tumbled leather I love the detail I just love the high cut I just I, I really just love blue. I love blue. Air Jordan 1 Royal. I cannot live without this. Actually, I can, but we're talking about metaphorically, I, I think. Whew, okay, now the next and final pair of sneakers that I'm going to show you today are a pair that I've probably worn the most. I've probably worn um, everywhere, honestly. I wore them to camp. I wore them like to the Philippines. And honestly, I've worn them so much, but I actually I also paid a ridiculous amount for these. I paid retail, and retail honestly isn't that bad because if you think about how many times I've actually worn these sneakers. Now, these sneakers they're just my go-to. Anytime I want to like go out, but just run some couple errands where I don't really need to look that fly and don't really need to stun out on all these people. I don't need to stun at people at Coles. And these sneakers they just give me the utmost comfort. They give me the most stability and they just they just work for me you beat them up no one's gonna know okay so without further ado my most worn sneaker of 2019 in three two one the adidas ultra boost in the core black colorway and then the 4.0 variant I think I just butchered that name, but whatever. I just love this sneaker. I love its simplicity. I love, like, this is a, how much I've worn it, which actually it's not really that noticeable. The cage is, the heel cup is just all thinged up. You can just see. And I've done the height beast lacing um, according to Hez Kicks. And I've actually written Supreme. I don't know why. Here you go. I don't know why I've, I wrote Supreme. Um, Literally wrote it there with blue as well. It's probably just inverted, but I love the sneaker, and I really just don't have any other words to d explain why. But I, I, I really hope you enjoyed more sneaker content, and gives. I hope it gives you an idea of what type of sneakers that you should look for in terms of essentials, 
and keep in mind I didn't just grow this collection overnight, it took lots of months and saving up and research and also just like my passion for it. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let me know down if you missed sneaker content. I'm gonna try and do at least three a month probably if you guys want that. I'm Josh Salvador, I was Salvador Sneakers and I'll see you in another video. Peace. <laughs>